January 1st. Hello everybody. God bless y'all. Listen. Um, I notice I've had quite a few people speaking up, sending me a lot of emails um, about how much they really favor Jonathan Kleck. Click or whatever his name is. I'm going to be very clear about this, okay? The Lord put it upon me to see things that other people can't see. Now, whether anybody wants to listen to it or not, that's up to them. And uh, I know better. I know better. The Lord put this in me to see the truth. And I'm just giving you the message. Now, does it not say in the Word of God... Does it not say, fool me once? Does it, de doesn't that, that old saying, you guys heard it now. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Now, why in the world would you want to listen to Illuminati deceptions that were used to deceive you once already? Stop and think about it, okay? It was already used to deceive you once already. Now, I want to ask you something. What is there in the Word of God that you cannot get out of the written Word in the Bible and what Jesus Christ said? What is there in the, in the written Word of God that is not you're not able to understand. Now, if you know this, it does say in there to be careful because there's people out there that will deceive you. Even the very elect, if they could. Okay? Now, the Lord didn't put that angel above my head because I can be very easily deceived. Okay? He's opened my eyes to see things that you guys would not believe. I don't actually see the person. I see the demonic spirit that's sitting in that person. See, when I see their photo, I can actually see the demonic spirit. I don't see the person. I see what's in them. The Lord's opened my eyes to see this. Just like you see my videos now, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, I was always on the, the driver's side, the left side. But now when you see my videos, I'm on the right side. Now, why do you think that's happened? I mean, look at everybody everywhere you see in these videos. They're all on the left side, aren't they? How is it that mine's all of a sudden on the opposite side? This is the Lord doing this. He's showed you guys many signs to me, including this photo, showing where the angel's blowing that trumpet over my head. Clearly, you guys could see that, okay? This is so you guys won't be deceived. I had a dream once, I'm gonna say it was a while ago, where uh, people were, uh, I was standing at the door trying to unlock the door. It was all dark. Demonic spirits were all around. And I called on Jesus and then they all went into the dark. And then all of a sudden they came out of the dark and they had people by the shoulders. And they threw them at me and they all fell down. And I went and picked one up to look in their eyes to see if I could see they were of God. And... Uh, these people look like they were on drugs or something, like they were asleep, you know, in a daze. And see, I have a feeling that a lot of people are having a spell put on them from this demonic stuff. And that's why the Word of God warns you about being led astray. It warns you about it. Now I've got these people coming against me. They're sending me emails. I've had a couple people pop on here. I'll delete them right away. I don't, I ain't tolerating with it right now because I know we're close to going. My earthquake report, I just did it. The last seven days, we're at uh, um, 778 earthquakes right now. I was, we're three away from having 777 and I checked it again and now we went right over it. Okay, so we're at 778 right now in the last seven days. We're at 200 and I think 200 right now or something around there. Maybe more. Who knows? Now, I'm going to read out of Titus right here, okay? Chapter 2, verse 11 through 15. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness 
and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Okay, this is what we need to be reading. Don't be listening to this deception. You know that old saying, fool me once, fool me twice. Yeah, how many times do, do you have to be fooled again? It's right here, the word of God. We know the days are upon us. What can those people possibly tell you right now? But more trickery and deceiving, witchcraft. That's what was used was witchcraft. I seen the guy dressing up, he looked like a warlock. A warlock. I seen him with the uh, emblem signs on his head. He loves his Starbucks, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, there's, there's a lot of witchcraft going on here. We're fighting principalities in darkness that you guys don't understand. When I say I've seen these people who make comments to me, they're holding their pets and stuff, but I see the demonic spirit in them. The Lord has put it in me to see it. I can see these things where other people can't. You know, just like this. Okay? That's a demonic spirit hosting that person. That's what that is. And these people are probably laughing. They're laughing about it. They've been here forever doing it. Forever. The Lord's just opened up my eyes to where I could see this stuff. Okay? When people sit there and say, well, that picture, it's meant for you. It ain't meant for other people to see. That's just for you. Oh, really? Why is there a bathtub there? The white horse? I think everybody should see this. It's not meant for me. It didn't sit in a drawer for 37 years just for me to see. He, he made this so where everybody could see it. So those that could see it would know that we are in a spiritual battle right now, man. We're supposed to be a reflection of Christ, not a reflection of this world. What's in this world is evil and demonic. People are trying to say what I'm doing is not, I'm is all nothing of the Bible. I'm reading you the scripts out of the Bible. I'm telling you what the word of God says here and what he tells you. Uh, he's also telling everybody, um, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. And what is Jonathan Cleck teaching you guys? Things that were used to deceive you, okay? What is the word of God telling you about? All the signs, everything to look for, man. The earthquakes, the murders, the everything that's already happened. We've seen it, we already know. We already know. Don't you think we should be showing some loyalty to the Lord and sticking to the word? Instead of wanting to get our ears tickled by these uh, people, that's, they got tens of thousands of people following them already. I'm not worried about a popularity contest here. You guys can clearly see it. I don't have tens of thousands of people on this channel. And I told you, I've never tried to tickle ears. I'm not trying to impress anybody here. I'm trying to tell you the truth. That's it. It says, for all that is in this world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And that's all he's showing you is the worldly stuff. And what I'm telling you is from the word of God. The churches aren't even saying this stuff. They're talking prosperity. And, and this is just the opposite of prosperity. This doesn't have anything to do with prosperity. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrist, whereby we know that it is the last time. I'm telling you guys, man, this is the truth, man. I'm actually able to see these spirits. The Lord has put it, you know what, I hadn't seen them in a while. Last year, when I was still living in Florida, I seen a lot of them. 
And let me tell you something. I didn't see him like I've been, now I'm seeing him. Now he's put it in my eyes to see these things again more than I did before. And I'm seeing these things a lot now. When these people are commenting to me, I can actually see the demonic spirit. If there's a picture of them, I can see what they really look like. I'm telling you, I thought it was a joke at first. I was thinking it was a joke. And I looked at him and I think, man, I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life, man. Ugly, nasty looking stuff, man. Yeah, I'm saying it, man. These demonic spirits, boy, they're ugly, nasty looking things, man. That's why the Bible says they're going to be howling, Lord, Lord, let us in. For, and their hearts will be failing them for the fear of the things that they're going to be seeing. They'll probably start seeing these things that I'm seeing. And let me tell you something. I wish you guys could see them now. You know, why Why am I able to see all this stuff and I can't convince you guys of what I'm seeing, man. It's real. I walked away from everything, man. I'm telling you, when he first opened my eyes to this stuff, that's like when I got that photo of that angel blowing that trumpet. I got people today who are telling me, oh, that picture's just for you. And so if you, if you show it even more, it's an idol now. I said, no, it's not an idol. I said, it's a photo, and it's got a picture of an angel blowing a trumpet for people to see what these angels look like in the spirit. You know, see, they'll lie, and they'll try to deceive and twist, and they'll say anything. See, what good is it if I don't share it with you guys to see it? It's not about me. I was a kid in that photo. I was 17 years old, man. I'm, I'm almost 57 now. You see what I'm saying? I was a kid back then. I didn't see that photo until 2014. You know? It's not for me. That's for me to show to everybody. Not everybody can see it. Not everybody can see it. I've shown it to a lot of people can't see nothing. The only people that are able to see it are the ones I believe that the Lord has chosen. Alright. They went out from among us. But they were not of us. For if they had been of us. They would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Now this is 1 John 15 through uh, 29, man. Read it all, man. I'm not, I'm just hitting you the key points on here, man. Time flies, man. It eats up, you know, I'm doing this because I, you guys got to know how serious I am about this. You know, I don't care about these people. They can say what they want. They don't, they, 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 they like this Jonathan Kleck, fool me once, fool me twice stuff. I don't go for it. I know better, okay? I'm not going to tolerate it. And anybody that's listening to this uh, channel here, I'm here to make sure that they're not deceived either, okay? We have eyes. We can look in the Word of God and read in here that'll tell us. And he warned us about not being deceived, too. He said they de deceived the very elect, boy, if they could. And don't believe me, they've been trying. They've been trying real hard. You'd be, you'd be surprised at things that I've had them come up. Money to fine-looking women that look like models, man. Right down to younger women coming on to me. I ain't lying to you, man. I'm telling you the truth. And I turned it all away. I gave my heart to Christ, man, and that's it. Let me tell you something. When you follow Christ, they're going to come at you with everything they got. And then we have to overcome. That's what Jesus said. He said, for those that overcome. You know, for those that overcome. We all have a crown waiting for us when we go there. We all have an anointment on our heads. That's why we were separated. But remember, he said they would try to deceive you, too. How are they doing that? With the same things that they've already deceived the whole world with. The same garbage, man. We should have enough sense to know. They fooled us once already with it. Shame on them. Now they're going to use it again? That's shame on you. Please, don't be deceived, okay? Everything we need to know is right here in the Word of God. Okay? We don't need to know what they did to deceive us once already. I've already told them before, don't send me that garbage. I got this right here. This, this tells me the truth. Okay? I'm not deceived. And let me tell you something. You got the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, man. And I know you can feel it. I know you can feel it. Look at Bush, man, with that dunce cap. And I told you guys also how um, um, Bush, he read Psalms 23 when the Twin Towers were knocked down. 
Obama doubled it seven years later. 23 and 23 is 46. Check it out. It's all written history. It's all recorded history. And then after he read it, the housing market crashed 777 points. How many people do you hear on YouTube saying this stuff? You don't. And the Lord opened my eyes to all this stuff. Why? To tell you. Just to tell you. Okay? Even if it's, I don't know how many people are going to get this before we go, man. I don't know. But listen, how many people escaped in the days of Noah? Not that many. How many people escaped in Sodom and Gomorrah? Not that many. How many do you think are going to escape now? Not that many. There's a whole lot more people now than there was then. Okay? God bless each and every one of you. I love you. Please don't be deceived. Those that are coming up against me because of my warning here, bring it on. The Lord's already told me. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm living here in my truck. I'm not hard to find. And I ain't hiding from nobody. God bless each and every one of you. I do love you guys too, man. And I hope and pray that nobody deceives you.